So did you hear the news? Rover Pet Care actually merged with Walmart. I'm going to tell you what I think about this. Four reasons why you should actually be happy in this quick, quick, quick live so that you can get your, your news for the day. Hi, my name is Bella Basto with Jump Consulting. I want to remind you that if you're watching this live or on the replay, go ahead and hit the notifications wherever it is so that you know when I go live every single time. You know I don't go all live often unless I have something really helpful to say, and today is just that. So this news came out, and you'll see it in the description, and it is about the fact that Rover and Walmart partnered up. Yep, they partnered up, and I could see a lot of feathers getting ruffled or tails not wagging so hard. So I wanted to come to you guys live and tell you four reasons why this is actually a good thing. So I'm going to dive right on into it. The very first thing is exposure. Guys, um, when I first started my business, we were still fighting the whole entire world, letting them know that professional pet sitting and dog walking actually was out there and was an option. And so we started our education way back when. Nowadays, we, ha we still are fighting that. And there's still people that don't realize that they could get a professional dog walker or a pet sitter. So go on with it. Go on with your bad self, Walmart and, and Rover. Spend all the money on all the advertising, just like they did on the advertising blitz last year. Do you remember that? It was like millions of dollars. There were billboards. There were uh, radio ads. There were um, uh, commercials. They were everything. And everyone was like, oh, my God. All that does, you guys, is it helps tell people about our industry, okay, which is a good thing. It, it creates more awareness and exposure. So be happy about that. That's number one. Number two is um, a lot of people are going to try it out. They're going to try it, and then they're not going to like it because people aren't going to show up or they're going to get sick of having only one person. And when that one person goes on vacation or is unavailable, they have to go back to the drawing board and go try to find someone else, which is cumbersome, right? They might not uh, feel like a cohesiveness that they would get with like a professional company where we're trained. Um, there's going to be times now, not all, and I'm not saying that all Rover sitters are bad because they're not. Okay. Uh, actually, if Rover was around when I started my pet care business in 2002, I definitely would have been on Rover. Okay. It's, it's an amazing incubator of businesses. And I know many of you listening right now might've even started your business on Rover and then kind of moved your way off. Um, but so number one, the exposure is going to be awesome on this. If they really do keep, keep it up, putting it in the media that just happened yesterday, you guys just happened yesterday. Um, but as that happens, those people are going to try it out maybe for the first time and they're going to want more. So what do we do when we want more? We go to this thing, we go to our phones and we start typing in, you know, dog sitter Scottsdale or pet sitter Scottsdale or wherever you are. Right. And now it's all up to you, the marketer and the salesperson. Oh, oh. Yeah, guys, you guys are marketers and you are a salesperson. And if you're not and you don't like it and you don't figure out a way to overcome that, then you will be dead in the water. OK, especially now. Um, before COVID hit, we literally, it was raining cats and dogs. You didn't have to do much. You really didn't have to put much effort. Everything was flowing. Uh, the economy unemployment was at like 3%, at least in the United States. Um, people were uh, excited to travel. They weren't scared to buy. You know, all this stuff was happening. But now we really truly have to be uh, salespeople and marketeers because when people start looking, when people start looking for your service, what are they going to see? Are they going to go to your website and is it going to be beautiful or is it going to look like a third grader built it? Eww, yes, I just said that. Unfortunately, sometimes people have really bad websites and that only reflects on them. One of the things I say a lot to my better marketing with Bella people and my mastermind people are it's kind of like Cinderella showing up to the ball with her hair on top of her head, her makeup dripping down her face, sweatpants and no shoes on. Like, she's not getting Prince Charming, guys. You have to show up to the ball, like, beautiful and dressed and hair and nails and all that stuff done if we want to get Prince Charming. And marketing is just like that. So the very first thing they're going to look at is your website. They're going to see, and, and that's assuming it comes up in Google, okay? They're going to look at your website. Um, and if you're a blogger, if you're blogging correctly for local blogging, they're actually, they might come in through a local blog. Like, how much does a pet sitter cost in Scottsdale? They're, they're doing, like, pet sitter Scottsdale, and all of a sudden... That comes up and they're like, ooh, forget about going to a website. I want to know how much a pet sitter costs in my town. Like, Am I going to overpay? And if it's you coming up, all of a sudden you just created the expert. You're, you're the expert. Okay, so your website's got to look good. Your 
your sign up process, your calls to action, your, your copy on your website also has to be good. You guys, when I go to your website, if it sells the rest of the industry, then you're no, you're no different than Rover. You're not, you're really not. You're like just another person that can just walk a dog. If your secret sauce isn't on there, if you're not talking about your unique value propositions, we've been talking a lot about that in the video bootcamp we've been doing this week at my free group jumpstart. DM me if you want to get in there. We're uh, in 15 minutes, we're doing the last day and you can watch all the videos. Um, you have to put your unique value proposition on there. So when they get to your website, hopefully you're, you're on first page of Google, your website looks amazing. Your words, the copy is talking directly to your person's problem. And then the way that you can sign up is easy. Too many pet sitters have a stop in their sign up process. They stop the sales process so many times. What does that look like? It looks like, okay, register to be on our site. Okay, now wait for an email. Oh, go check your email. Oh, I didn't send it yet. Oh, here's your username, password. Oh, here's how you do it. Oh, here's instructions on how to sign up with us. <sighs> Guys, it's too much. It's too much. I should be able to sign up with you online in under five minutes in my bed, in my pajamas at one in the morning without ever talking to you. Okay. And then you also have to understand that you're also a threat these days. You're a threat. You're coming into their home. So we need to have virtual consultations pop in. And we also need to have contactless dog walking pop in. So all of that right there, you guys, when people want more, that's the more I'm talking about. So first reason you should be happy about this is the exposure. It's going to tell a lot more people about our profession. The second thing is, is that when people want more, they're going to look for more. And those are the things they're going to be looking for. So my question and challenge to you is, are you providing that? Okay. The third thing is, is that we are a luxury, you guys, we are a luxury. And it is so awesome that Rover has literally aligned with the bargain. What do you call it? Warehouse store, everything, nothing against Walmart. Cause your girl likes Walmart. Um, but I'm not sure I would really want Walmart coming into my home because I just feel like it's too big. It's not personal, right? I And and so when you go to the site, when you go to, I think it's walmart.com forward slash pet care um, or pet something, I forget, forgive me. It's in that article that I posted in the description. It literally shows you all of these dog walking, pet sitting, drop-ins, daycare. And when you click on it, it takes you to the Rover website and at the top, it says in partnership with, with Walmart. So you are going to the Rover website. That's great. More traffic for them from a marketing standpoint. That's great. But it's also getting like um, the lower costing, cheap minded, bargain shopping kind of person. And when we're doing this, um, uh, when we're sleeping in people's bed, when we have keys to their home. When we're coming in and out of their home quietly while they're on Zoom, you know, while they're working or impressing the boss and getting the dog and leaving, you know, they're trusting, they're trusting us. And, and that is a level of luxury that, that Rover can't possibly do. Um, I know so many of your businesses and your secret sauces. So I know there's so many special things that you guys do that you possibly, you couldn't possibly do. Um, even just from like community interactions and being vouched for by the community. These are things that really make you different. That Rover can never really do you guys. So I want you to be highlighting this. I want you to be talking about this on your social media, on your website, in your in your, your, your sales pitch to people, or when you're talking to them, I want you to weave this stuff in there because a rover sitter cannot do this. They are an order taker. Oh, what's this? You want to do dog walks every two days. Okay. I can do a roll. I can do a walk every two days. Well, guys, guess what? The professional pet sitter I should do a TikTok on this. The professional pet sitter will sit here and go, and they'll go down this whole amazing checklist and they'll give you a whole experience. It's the difference between the experience of, 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 of a professional pet sitter and an order taker. Okay. Of wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You guys got, you, you feeling me? You feeling me? Okay. Now the fourth one and to recap, number one is exposure. Number two is they're going to want more and they're going to be looking for more. And are you going to be there to show them more? Number three is luxury. It's just a totally different, um, avatar. Okay. And actually you guys, if you want a free avatar class, I have one. I didn't put this in the description. It's joinjumpconsulting.com. If you go right there, you can sign up right now and you can get this. Like, I think it's an hour. It might be three hours. It's a really in-depth class all about how to create your avatar. Um, so if you haven't done that yet for your business, I implore you to do that. Now, number four is highlight. I want you guys 
to highlight things like that you maybe if you have a team that means if someone goes on vacation or if someone's sick or if someone just can't arrive at the house someone else will be there to back up and that because of that you have a centrally located communication system where they actually you can share the information and everyone can get the same knowledge about the household right it's not like on rover if i'm going to go hire someone else i have to train them all over again you take care of that okay uh the second thing is education you guys how much education have you gotten? What have you done? Have you done pet first aid CPR? Have you taken pet care team trainings uh, course on uh, pet sitting and dog walking and gotten that certification? That is a new training that just came out this summer. Full disclosure, I am a co-owner of it. And under two hours, you can get a pet sitting and dog walking certification. That is amazing because most certifications take 10 plus hours. That means you're paying people per hour to do all of that. You can get that certification and you can also get Pet Pro Hero, um, uh, their first aid CPR certification. So you can get two certifications in one place with Pet Care Team Training. If you want to see free videos on that, it's petcareteamtraining.com forward slash free videos. Okay. So there's uh, tell them about your team, your education, your community involvement. You guys, do you sponsor like a t-ball team or help out the PTO? Or do you have yappy hours or mutton mingles or Santa Paws events or or promote those or promote anyone else in your community? This is stuff Rover can never do. And this is stuff you need to be talking about and highlighting in your social media. Also endorsements. Is there any veterinarian that endorses you? I, in my business, I had a veterinarian that endorsed me. So I'd be like, we are locally and nationally award winning and also locally endorsed by Dr. Uh, from blah, 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 you know, and, and just being able to say that kind of thing, you are so different than Rover. So guys, I want you to ride this. I don't want you to get scared by it. I want you to embrace it. I want you to do what you can do about it. And I want you to make this fuel for your fire to make your business even better. If you hate marketing, if you have no idea what you're doing, if you're not producing at least four to five, six videos and putting them on your socials every single month, you're missing out sorely because the algorithms actually um, favor videos, good videos branded videos, not videos that you've shared from someone else, but someone that something that has your logo, your font, your color on it. And the same thing with graphics. I always say better marketing and Bella, it's really important to show me what you're doing during the day, all of those cute pictures, but it's also important to bring some professional branding in there too. And together it works really well and it makes your brand look really awesome because you've got the personal side and you've got the professional side coming together. Okay. Oftentimes people make a lot of the problems or the mistakes of just correlating others content. They keep sharing stuff because they think it's kind of funny, but all they're doing is just sharing and it's not really telling or showing much about their brand. You guys have the unique position that you're not Rover. You can be and have a voice, anything that you want. That's what Better Marketing with Bella helps a lot of the clients with. We give them over 26 pieces of content to use every single month, almost every single day, Monday through Friday, every month. They've got something where they're touching their clients somehow through their branded stuff that we give them. If you guys are interested in Better Marketing with Bella or just want to learn more about it, we literally have one more spot. I'm not even joking about that. One more spot. And I normally would have closed the doors by now, but I know that things are so different right now that I'm willing to throw someone in there. So if you want, if you're interested in it, let's have a conversation. We could jump on the phone or you could go to jumpconsulting.net forward slash marketing. I am also able and authorized. Uh, I am the CEO, but I'm authorized to offer you a discount off of what you'll see on the website. Anyways, this Rover thing is not a bad thing. It's not. It's, it's really about perspective, guys. Our perspective even just in 2020, let me open this up to all of 2020. Our perspective is our reality. So what kind of reality are you going to choose to have in your life? That's my question to you. You guys, don't forget to turn on the notifications so you know every single time I go live. I love hearing back from you. Let me know what resonated with you, which point resonated with you. If you've heard about this news before, or if you're now just learning about this news, if you agree or if you disagree with me, I'd also love to know that too. And um, uh, anyway, uh, there's so much stuff I have out there for you guys. I've got the podcast, Better Mark, uh, Bella in Your Business. If you're a podcast listener, we've got the free Jumpstart Your Pet Business Group which I'm actually in five minutes about to go live and we're about to show an ad strategy, a Facebook ad strategy that we've done with one of my Better Marketing with Bella clients. And in video has been so amazing to take this thousand dollar course and give it to you guys for free. So if you're not in the Jumpstart Your Pet Business group, you want to get in there like now. 
because I'm headed over there right now, which is why I got to go. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Remember that when life gets you down, always keep jumping.